Hey guys, welcome back to my channel. Let's move it a little bit away, okay. I was sitting here looking at the cactus that I have and I was admiring them. And I was just like, this is so cool that I gained these cacti not that long ago, just about a year, year and a half I've had some of these. Just to see them grow so big since then, it's just, it's a lot of fun for me. I love cacti because when you think of cacti, you think of this slow grower, you know, that takes years and years to get to the size of us. And that could be true. But when you get them as babies and you see them sprout little legs or little arms and they gr flower and bloom and you just watch them grow, it's a cool thing. It's a really cool thing. So I thought I would start by showing you some cactus and we could just talk about them. First starters, because my cactus bench is in front of me, let's talk about the dog tail cactus. Look at that little girl. <laughs> Now the tips are starting to turn and they're looking a little straggly and that's because they're kind of hanging over my bench. I'm sitting in front of three gigantic windows, west facing windows, so they get the best light in this area, but it's hanging down like below the window. So I need to raise this up so I can get some more light down there, but it's a sure fact that it's happy where it's at because Look at all of those little babies. When I got this, it was just these two long pieces. And now look at all of those babies that popped up there. Isn't that, a, isn't that amazing? Oh my God, it's so cute. I don't, I don't quite understand how people don't love cacti. I get that they can be intimidating and they can be kind of ugly. I like the ugly ones, to be honest, the wonky or the better. Um, and they're, they're hard to, to deal with, like to repot. Like you have to be careful because you could poke yourself. Um, but they're just so cool, so cool. Something so sharp and fierce just growing is just super intriguing to me. So one more look at these babies. Don't look at their face. There they are. The proper word for this one is the Selenoceros Testudo. Am I saying that wrong? Probably. But that's the name of it. Very cool. One of my faves. Now this one that I just got is a Euphorbia. I got this from Plant Shop Chicago and I didn't show anybody on Instagram so nobody knew I got it. But this is so amazing. It was 20 bucks and it is a Euphorbia Decarii. Decarii? Decarii is probably how you pronounce it. But they're like little trees. And these look like leaves, but they're, and they are, but they're super hard. Like, not even succulent like but hard like hard cactus like and they just look like little palm trees isn't that cool it came potted in this medium with the rocks in there you can kind of see how they grow weird too see this is like the whole stem on one oh, so cool i'm going to show you the name just so you guys have it so in case you're looking into it Pretty awesome, right? And it's variegated. So there's like green and purple in there too. Ugh, I don't know. I just love it. I'm telling you guys, the wonkier the better. My Patchapodium J.I. J.I. It's a Madagascar palm. Let me show you the name of it. This is what we're looking at here. So you know. You can pause it, write it down, buy it. Let me know if you do, but look at this. How cool is this? It grows these crazy leaves on it and it does look like a palm tree, but they're just super sporadic. Like there's not a ton. You can see there was a few in there. And then when they die off and they have leaf drop, they just kind of fall off and then they grow new ones. And then there's this like line right down the center. Yeah, see that? Isn't that cool? think that this is so awesome and I mean the spikes are super fierce they're really scary but I just think it's awesome I got this at I want to say the botanical gardens I think in Glencoe in Illinois one that I got in did I where did I get you oh I got this one in California I don't know what it is but look at how cool this is. It almost looks like the booby cactus, doesn't it? 
only smaller boobies <laughs> or wrinkles. I just think it's awesome. And the person at the store said that it was gonna grow, like it would sprout babies. There's no spines on it. It's pretty smooth and they get to be pretty big too. So let me know what you think about this. I just thought that it was so weird and I liked the fact that it looked like the booby cactus because I want a booby cactus. Do you know what a booby cactus is? So cool. I want one. Okay, now this one over here, which I need to get to, hold on one second. I have these strategically placed on my shelf so that they're like, there's room for them. This is the Apuntia cochinellifera. Cochinell cochinellifera? <laughs> That's what that is, guys. Hold on. There we go. It's an Apuntia. It looks like a prickly pear to me that's just like stacked on each other. Look at it. And I got this from Plant Shop Chicago and when I got it, it's planted in like this really rough sand mixture. When I got it, it was just this pad and this pad. And now these have grown over the past, oh man, I just got this in the summer too. So two entirely new pads grew just within the past few months. And I'm sure another one will sprout up at the top. And I just keep picturing this, like right now, like Kaylee Ellen head test. I just picture this like sitting on the ground, being as tall as the ceiling and looking amazing, you know? Super exciting. It was 15 bucks and it was repotted November 25th of 2018. So over a year in this pot, and I'm not, seeing, I'm not seeing any roots coming out of the bottom, but this might be something that I check in the springtime just to make sure and see how it's doing. Cacti like to be in close quarters like this, so I think it's fine. Okay, let's try to get it back over there. <laughs> this is a euphorbia, but totally a cactus, because look at those spines. It's got a spine, it's a cactus. You know, this is a Euphorbia Amic variegata. It's an African golden candelabra cactus. Here's the tag. And I actually got this from Pam, from Pammy's Planty Things. She sent this to me. I think she got it at Lowe's or Home Depot. She sent this to me last summer. And look at the variegation in there. See that? It's like darker green spots. Love it. I love it. And I'm sure it will grow up from the top. It might sprout another arm or maybe it'll sprout another arm from the side. I'm not sure. Or maybe it'll just grow straight up and just be gigantic. I love it. It's definitely grown since she's, um, since she sent it to me. <laughs> this is an old man cactus. We all know this guy. He is so fierce. I got this when I was in Tucson visiting Becca from Becca De La Plants and this pot is just gorgeous. She showed me this pot and I thought, you know what? It might not be the proper pot size for him, but he is living his best life in here. I love it and I think that it matches it with the orange spines with the terracotta and then the white fuzziness of him. It's just so cool. These are a little difficult to spot pests on, obviously, because just because it's so hairy and fuzzy. So I can imagine, oh my God, spider mites on this would be tragic. But he's been super happy, super healthy. I haven't spotted anything moving on him ever. So I think we're good. I have to be careful with this one. Ooh. Okay, this is my rat tail cactus. <laughs> and the tag is like, all the way inside there and I can't grab it or I'll get poked because it's literally grown around it. But um, I got this from the plant chica out in Los Angeles. And when she sent it, it was probably half the size. It has grown so much. I mean, you can see just the, the newer growth right there, but that's just probably from the past month or so. Even in the winter, it's growing. Like here, you can tell it's because it's winter. It probably needs some stronger light. It was outside all summer. Look at the top part of it. All those new little babies sprouted up. <laughs> and it has fallen over. It has gotten knocked over by my squirrels. Like even right here, you can see this new growth right there. That grew out of this piece that was knocked over just within the past few months, guys. It grows like crazy. It sprouted a baby there. Um, it's, it's just, it's really cool. 
I have it on a candle stand because if I put this straight on the ledge, as you can see, it's outgrown the pot. So it would probably, uh, it would probably mess with the bottom pieces here and this likes to hang. So it's definitely going to go back outside in the summertime because I think it lives its best life out there. Okay. Whew, time to put it back. Oh, that's scary. Um, one more I want to show you guys. I know this video is getting kind of long. This last one I want to show you, which I do plan on repotting just because I'm not a fan of the sand looking all weird, but look at this. And I don't know what this is called, but how amazing is this? Look at those little tiny spines. There's like millions of them and it looks soft, but let me tell you guys, it is not soft. <laughs> it's probably doubled in size since I got it because it, when I got it, I had it in the tiniest pot and then I repotted it cause it was growing like out of the pot and uh, I put it in here, which might be too big of a pot for it. Honestly, it should probably go in like a two inch, but this was all I had at the time. So, um, but it's happy. It's really another spider mite disaster if that ever happened. Cause you would not be able to see them unless you had like a microscope. But I just think that it's so cool and how soft and fuzzy it looks. And it's really uh, pretty fierce. You don't want to mess with this guy. All right, guys, that's it. It's definitely not my entire cactus collection, but I figured I'd show you guys some of my favorites that I just gravitate to every time I look at my, my bench and I just, I love them so much. So do you guys share that love of cacti? Who loves cactus and who doesn't? I would love to know in the comment section below. And did you like this video? Like, do you want me to do maybe another video of the rest of my cacti? Cause I have a lot, a lot. <laughs> Just let me know and uh, I'll do that video. All right, guys, that's it. If you like this video, give it a thumbs up. If you have any questions for me, leave them in the comment section below and I'll see you guys in my next one. Bye.